So one of my favorite perfumers in the world is Bertrand Duchafour. I've had the pleasure of meeting him in person. He's been on my channel before and I love his fragrances. Everything from Amouage's Jubilation 25 all the way to Incense Avignon by Comme des Garçons. Well, here we have a brand new fragrance by Wilhelm and this one is called To My Father. It's composed by this favorite perfumer of mine. I'm super excited to give you my thoughts on the smell of this brand new release. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's video and I tell you about this brand new fragrance just came out in 2022 by Wilhelm, it's called To My Father. I wanna start things off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's review. Now, of course, Wilhelm is a great house. You can find their fragrances over at Twisted Lily. I'm gonna leave all of the information down below to where you can check them out. And they have some amazing fragrances, Dear Polly, London Funk. I own a bunch of them. Purple Fig is another one. And there's a lot that I don't own, but I personally love. Black Citrus is one of them. And I've tried a number of their offerings and they're all really, really high quality. Here we have a fragrance that smells like tobacco. It smells like honey. It is very boozy. And there are several notes listed in the description of the fragrance that are not explicitly listed in the note breakdown with honey being one of them. There is ambrette in here, which is a little musky. It's a little fruity. It can give off this sort of honeyed pear-like aroma. There's whiskey, which is very peaty. And there's also Cade. There are some other ingredients in here. One of them in the base, I looked it up. I, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it basically says that it's also known as white oud, which is a little marine, little salty, little animalic, could be a little smoky as well with some woodsy nuances. In any case, I'm going to describe the smell to you as best as I can so that you have a pretty good impression or understanding of what you can expect in terms of how this one smells and performs and all that good stuff. But let's start things off with the presentation. So the first thing that I noticed about this fragrance is that beautiful mellifluous honey note. And the honey in the opening is gentle, but it's also very present. It's very bold. It doesn't come across rough or aggressive. And I think some fragrances like Naomi Goodser's Bois d'Assis can come across kind of harsh, right? In terms of that honey personality that's in there. Or I think it's Hors du Sorel that I'm thinking about, not Bois d'Assis. But that fragrance can be a little aggressive. It can be a little heavy handed. This fragrance, while it is strong in terms of the presence of the honey, it's also on the smooth side of things. Now there's oak wood in here, there is Cade, which also contributes to that animalic nature, but also adds a touch of smoke to this fragrance. There's a fragrance called A City on Fire by Imaginary Authors. I know that fragrance has quite a bit of Cade in it, composed by Josh Meyer. So I know Cade has uh, the ability to transform a fragrance and really make it a little smoky. And that's kind of what's happening in here. And I think the Cade also contributes to that whiskey accord. So it's boozy, it's a little sweet on account of the ambrette and this sort of honey personality, but I'm also getting this tobacco quality from it. And I know Bertrand du Chafour, right? Not all of the ingredients that are listed in the note breakdown are actually in there, right? So there are some hidden ingredients, so to speak. And he's done fragrances like Bois d'Ambri by Eau de Tali. He's done Virtus by Navitus Parfum. And I know Bertrand du Chafour has an affinity for the note of tobacco and he's used tobacco in a number of of his fragrances, and this fragrance is no exception. It definitely has this sort of blonde tobacco, smooth quality about it that combines with the woods and is a perfect complement to the whiskey and the honey. And this has some delicious ingredients in here. And it's so classy, so masculine, but it's not overly rugged. It's not overly dark. It is complex, but it's not aggressive. This is a very special fragrance that gives off a very warm, ambery, sentimental vibe and aura about it. And the more that I smell it, I pick up on that balsamic richness and the resins and there's 
this really delicious quality about it. And for me, it actually does remind me of honey that you would put in your tea. It has a very natural, presence about it. And that's one of the reasons why I love this one so much. Nothing about it smells generic or synthetic or nondescript. This is a very true to form, lively, enthusiastic, exuberant type of a fragrance. And it's certainly one that you need to get your nose on right away. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, that sort of rich, boozy, honey personality with that tobacco nuance that I mentioned before, certainly there are a lot of fragrances like that. Herod by Parfum de Marly, Creation E by Roja Parfum, Virtus by Navitus Parfum, the list goes on and on. But something about this fragrance makes it stand out, makes it unique. It's such a beautiful fragrance released just in time for the colder weather. The whiskey, the cade, that touch of smoke, the incense, the red resins, the warmth, it's a beautiful fragrance. Longevity on it is about eight hours. The projection was great for the first hour of application. It did not radiate beyond an arm's length, even though it does kind of have like this bitter orange thing in the opening that makes it a bit diffusive. I would say it projected within an arm's length. It was an elbows length scent right around hour five and a skin scent right around hour eight. So the performance for this one is certainly above average. Versatility is great, perfectly unisex, even though some people would argue, no, this leans a little masculine with the smoke and the whiskey and whatever, I can see a confident woman really enjoying this one. And of course, with a name like To My Father, you would get the impression that it's marketed for men and I, I think it is, but of course, scent is subjective. Wear what you want, wear what makes you happy. I think in terms of seasons, perfect for the fall and winter. I would not wear this one in the spring and summer. This is great for somebody who's a little bit older, a little bit more mature and more experienced when it comes to niche fragrances. And I think that this one is great for a suit and tie, not casually, unfortunately, but I think this is great for a formal occasion. Definitely when you're dressed to impress. The presentation for this one is really nice. I love how To My Father is written here in a vertical fashion. When you turn it upright, it's written in a vertical fashion and it kind of creates this really interesting pattern to it. I love the font of To My Father and just these little touches I think add this creative flair to the composition all contributing to the overall great presentation. My final verdict is if you are a fan of boozy sort of pseudo tobacco rich honeyed like fragrances with a touch of woods you're gonna love To My Father by Wilhelm. Such an amazing fragrance you can find it at Twisted Lily and I think they have samples as well. I'm gonna leave all of the information down below. Thank Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell so you can be notified whenever I do release future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you for your viewership. Thank you for the subscription. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.